my dear students in the last mod we have seen the examples of the probability distribution that is binomial exponential normal and other types of distributions with the relevant examples after completion of that model let me go for one more which is known by joint probability distribution here you should not going all the theories because we have to cover the same theories in the example that's why i'm taking the example directly with the relevant th relevant theory wherever necessary the first example in this regard is the joint distribution of two random variables x and y are given by in this table just know the table compute the following e of x and e of y e of x y e means what exponential sigma x and sigma y covariant of x y and row of x y okay now to compute the the conditions as we required here the marginal distribution of x and y is as follows this distribution is obtained by adding the all the respective row entries and also the respective column entries therefore for the distribution of x distribution of x is given by what the in the first in the first row 1 and 5 refer here these elements shall be taken as x 1 and 5 and the elements Uh, addition of the first row 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 how much it is 1 by 2 similarly for the 5 second row uh, summation of second row elements 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 it will be 1 by 2 similarly for distribution of 5 and the first row elements yj are given by minus 4 2 and 7 minus 4 2 and 7 and they are adding the respective columns the first column elements are given by 3 by 8 addition of second column will be 3 by 8 addition of third column will be 1 upon 8 now we need to go for e of x that is exponent exponential of e of x therefore e of x is given by summation of xi f of xy refer the formula correctly and neatly how to get the summation xi f x f of xi i equal to 1 x1 f of x1 x1 is 1 f of x1 is 1 by 2 plus x equal to uh, sorry i is equal to 2 what is what happens here x2 f of x2 that is 5 into 1 by 2 the addition of these three will be 3 summation of y summation of y is equal to sigma um, e of y equal to what summation of yj g of yj therefore it is minus 4 into 3 by 8 plus 2 into 3 by 8 plus 7 into 1 by 4 it will be 1 therefore mu x means e of x both are one and same it will be 3 as shown here and mu of y is equal to e of y that is 1 next e of x y equal to what x i y j i i j under the summation refer here the very very important formula therefore it is given by what 1 into minus 4 x i y j i i j therefore uh, x1 y1 i y1 therefore x1 1 y1 minus 4 and i i1 therefore it is given by how much here uh, the multiplication will be i i j this term is equal to 1 upon 8 next plus 1 into 2 into that is 1 by 4 plus 1 into 7 into 1 upon 8 refer here therefore this term uh, here uh, uh, how much here minus 1 into pause mark hmm. e of x y equal to summation x i y j i i j therefore it is given about 1 Into minus four into one upon eight. I refer this table. One into minus four into one upon eight plus one into two into one by four plus one into seven into one upon eight plus five into minus four into one by four plus five into two into one upon eight plus five into seven into one upon eight. The addition will be three by two. Next. Sigma x square equal to e of x square minus mu x square and sigma y square equal to e of y square minus mu y square. The results are already shown here. Therefore, e of x square equal to what? Summation x i square f of x i. Here, e of x is given by simply what? X i f of x i under the summation. Instead of e of x square, it will be x i square. Not f i f square f of x y. It will be simply f of x y. Therefore, x i square f of x y is equal to what? X i square one square into one by two plus five square into one by two. Five square means what? Twenty five. Therefore, the addition will be 
13. Sigma, sorry, epsilon, sorry, E of y square equal to summation of yj square g of yj. Again, the same condition, yj square for here, uh, 4 square into g of y1, 3 by 8, plus 2 square into 3 by 8, plus 7 square into 1 by 4 equal to 79 by 4. And sigma x square equal to putting the respective values and covariant of x y equal to putting the calculation from using this formula and sigma x y equal to at the end minus 1 by 2 root 75. Therefore, for this example, in the examination also, keep try to keep the formula correctly and neatly. It is necessary to, necessary to write the formula, uh, the relevant formula, wherever it is, it is found necessary. Okay. Next, the same example is given for the assignment for the practice purpose, based on the same fact. Next, we shall go for... If x and y are independent random variables, x takes the values 2, 5, 7 with variables 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 respectively. y takes the values 3 by 4 with the probabilities 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. Instead of giving the table as we've seen in the previous example, if the elements are given in this manner, we need to write under the table. 2, 5, 7, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 3, 4, 5, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. They are shown here. Next, come to i i j equal to f of x i g of y j where i j equal to 1 2 3 j of 1 1 equal to 1 upon 6 how it is 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 next 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 next 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 the values are given here multiplication what 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 i is equal to 1 j equal to 1 2 3 i is equal to 2 j equal to 1 2 3 i is equal to 3 j equal to 1 2 3 the results are shown here and they are given under the table this table is is given in the first example but in this example we need to construct from this uh, relevant formula and covariant of x y equal to summation of e of x y minus mu of x i uh, mu x minus uh, into mu y the formula is given here from this table and the calculation we need to get uh, covariant of x y equal to 0 and z equal to x plus y the addition of these two values it's already shown here just try to calculate the things of your own next Given the following joint distribution of random variables x and y, find the corresponding marginal distribution. Also compute the covariant and the correlation of the random variables. It is example is already shown. I have taken this example which is taken from the one of the code question paper. Try to cover the formulae and the respective values as we seen in the previous examples. Now go to another important example. A fair coin is tossed thrice. Refer here. Coin, coin is tossed thrice. Fair means what? The coin should not be from the Sholai film. Okay. The fair coin means what? The coin should have both head and tail. Okay. The random variables x and y are defined as follows. Refer here the restriction x equal to 0 or 1 according as head or tail. For x equal to 0 head or 1 tail occurs on the first toss. And y is equal to number of heads and the respective toss. Determine the distribution of x and y. Determine the joint distribution of x and y. Obtain the expectations of x and y and x, y. Also find um, standard deviation of x and y. Compute the covariance of and the correlation of x and y. Refer this example. It is, yes, from this table, uh, from this example, we need to go for the construction of the table. Therefore, what is the condition? x equal to 0 or 1 according as head or tail occurring on the first toss. Therefore, all the, uh, if, if the coin is tossed thrice, what happens here? They remain possible by getting all the three heads. Therefore, h, h is 0. 0 means what? Either head or tail. And y is equal to 3. Therefore, it is what? The sum, it is, what is the y? Number of heads. How many heads are here? 3. Next, h, h, t x equal to 0 means what either head or tail that's why it is 0 and uh, how it is 2 why is it why what is y y is equal to number of heads in hht how many number of heads there are two in the third one heads are two and the respective value here come it will be instead of 0 it is 1 because the probabilities of 0 is over when the coin is tossed twice because 1 will come 1 means what 1 is what according to the condition it is tail it is a tail therefore one at least one tail here y is what 
it is two two means what there are two heads therefore one at least one tail h uh, uh, at least one there are two tails one head tth it is one and the last one all the uh, in the all the conditions are ttt therefore x equal to 1 y is equal to 0 why it is zero because there is no head in the the last chance the probability distribution of x and y are given by x equal to xi 0 1 it is given and y is equal to y t uh, y j 0 1 2 3 here the the elements are taken from 0 and 1 for y 0 1 2 3 they are given and p of x equal to 0 4 upon 8 how it is 4 upon 8 there are eight possibilities 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it is p of x equal to 0 is 4 upon 8 how it is for 0 how many possibilities 1 2 3 4 4 upon 8 x equal to 1 1 2 3 4 4 upon 8 y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 there is only one possibility 1 upon 8 y is equal to 1 1 plus 1 2 upon uh yeah, how much it is yes sorry 3 upon 8 y is equal to 2 1 2 3 therefore 3 upon 8 and p of y is equal to 3 that is only one possibility hence it is 1 upon 8 therefore the probability distribution function the terms are given here for x equal to 0 to 1 for y is equal to 0 1 2 3 from this table we have shown from this calculation the tables have been constructed the second next condition the joint distribution of x and y is found by computing jij equal to p of x equal to x r y is equal to y a where x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to 1 from this table y1 equal to 0 y2 equal to 1 y3 equal to 2 y4 equal to 3 from this table j11 p of x equal to 0 y of 0 that is what x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 it is 0 Why it is zero? Therefore, this is given by x equal to zero means what? Either head or tail. Y is equal to zero means what? There is no. Uh, what is y is equal to zero? In the case, it is head. There is no head here. Therefore, p of x equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. It is zero. x equal to zero implies that there is a head turn out and y is the total number of heads is zero it is impossible because y is specially mentioned for number of heads. Next j of one two p of x equal to zero y is equal to one that is one upon eight corresponding to the outcome h t t x equal to zero means what either sorry at least one head or tail but you need to while writing this element you need to consider the second one first y is equal to one means what there is at least one head h t t next x equal to zero y is equal to two y is equal to two means what there are two heads therefore it is a two by eight y is equal to three means what there are three heads therefore x equal to zero y is equal to three is h h h p of x equal to one y is equal to zero y is equal to zero means what there is no head zero means what there is no, because in the uh, y is completely connected with only head and x is connected with either head or tail therefore it is t t t similarly at the end p of x equal to 1 y is equal to 3 it is zero since the outcome is impossible y is equal to 3 means what only 2 is uh, y is equal to 3 it is not possible here therefore x equal to 1 uh, uh, y is equal to 3 next come to the the construction of the table and mu of x is already the formula is already given from this table you need to go for the calculation their sum these are according to row wise these are according to column okay the formula is given here i have solved the example clear and thoroughly if you find any problem please free, feel free to Uh, contact me because some of your friends are already contact me how this table is constructed how the sum is taken why the summation is taken in this manner what are the summation of uh, summation varying from i is equal to 1 to 3 like this they have um, uh, raised their question and cleared their doubts also that's why it is um, uh, feel free to uh, put the question in your own way so that you can uh, be perfect with uh, there is no space for any doubt while dealing this topic Okay thank you